Hello everyone. Welcome to World of Fusion 360. In this video we're going to design radiator cap. Yeah, it has a cap and upper and lower seals and then a pressure spring and this uh, inside of it we'll be having vacuum valve and a spring. As you might know that we'll be using this cap for safety purpose. You know that the water gets all the heat from the engine and it enters into the radiator for cooling. As the temperature of the water increases, the pressure inside of it increases. Normally, we insert this pressure cap, the boiling point of water increases. Normally, it is 220 Fahrenheit, right? And with this, the temperature of water increases. Thus, it won't evaporate. There is one more consideration that as the pressure increases, there is a chance of explosion of hoses and the radiator. We must need to regulate it. When the pressure increases, as you can see this cap, this wall goes up just like this. And usually the pressure is around 16 PSI. That is 110 kPa or you can say 1.1 bar. Perfect. When the pressure increases, the spring compresses and this goes like this. And the excess water goes to the reservoir. When the when the pressure comes to normal, that is 16 psi, it retracts. Perfect. And now the liquid inside the radiator cools down. Thus, it creates a vacuum. When the vacuum is created, the vacuum valve opens just like this. And the fluid from the reservoir enters into the radiator. That is how it works, guys. Now that you know how it works, let's dive into Fusion 360 and Let's start designing it. I'm gonna create a sketch on top plane. See on the keyboard, draw a circle of 60 mm dia. And now, repeat circle and draw a circle just like this. And I would like to constrain this circle by putting some points. One in here, one in here. Let the distance between those two points be 10 mm. And I would like to draw a line from center. Let the length of the line be 40 mm. Perfect. Now I would like to apply vertical constraint with the center of circle to this point. Select this one and this one. Perfect. Now that it is perfectly constrained, let's add one more point and make it fully constrained. I would like to add point in here and simply drag that point until it coincides with the end point. Perfect. Now that the circle is perfectly constrained, I would like to make this line as my construction. Select the line and press X on the keyboard. Perfect. I would like to mirror this circle. Check the circle and select mirror in here and the mirror line be Z axis. Perfect. Select these all the profiles and press E on the keyboard. Let the extrude length be 7 mm. Click OK to take that. And here I would like to apply some fillet. F on the keyboard, select this edge and the edge in here, one in here, and the, finally this one. Let the fillet radius be 7.5 mm. Perfect. We just forgot to create a hole in the center. For that I would like to edit my sketch and I want to create a circle of 4mm dia. And now if we edit the extrude, just deselect the center circle. Perfect. Now that it computed the fillet, 
after the edit. Perfect. Now I would like to create extrude cut. Select this plane and see on the keyboard. Draw a circle of 25mm dia. Select the profile and press E on the keyboard. And the extrude length be minus 1.5mm. Perfect. And now, and now select this face and this face. I would like to shell this body about 1mm. Select the shell and the shell thickness be 1mm. Now that we got the top cap, let's design the gasket cause of upper one. For that, I would like to section the cap so that I can see clearly what I'm going to do. Perfect. And now create a sketch on XY plane. Our gasket will be in between the covers. So we have to design two covers and we have to place the gasket in between them. You got me right? Let's do that. I would like to project this face or this line in here. Press P on the keyboard and select this one. Or I would like to intersect this face. Under create, project include, select intersect. Select this one. In that you only will be getting this line in here and this line in here. If, if we use project, we'll be getting line in here, but we don't want that. This is perfect. Click OK. And now, L on the keyboard. I'm going to draw this profile roughly, guys. There is no particular dimension for this. Just, I would like you to follow this profile. I'm going to draw a line and then a line inclined about 150 degrees and then one more line horizontally and then angle inclined downwards and one more line just like this. Perfect. You guys did a great job. And now I would like to offset that line. Select the enter line and including the intersected line. Perfect. Let the offset distance be 0.2 mm. Just close the profile at the ends along the keyboard and just close it. And now I would like to select two point rectangle for creating the gasket. Let this be the one end of the rectangle and the other end be, let the width of the rectangle be 25 and the height be 0.5 m. Perfect. Now that we got the upper cover of the gasket and this is our gasket and finally I would like to create the profile for lower cover. Select line and then I would like to start the line with having set a gap from here. This line like this and an inclined line like this and from here a line like this and bring the line downwards have inclination and then draw a line like this perfect guys now offset that line about 0.2 mm Perfect. Now that you got 
the lower cover for the gasket also. Just close the ends and you're done. Finish the sketch. Now we got three profiles. The gasket one, the upper cover and the lower cover. Select the upper cover and select revolve. If the axis B, Y. Make sure that the operation is new body. Click OK. If you hide the analysis, you can see the upper cover, which is fantastic. And now repeat the revolve. Enable the previous sketch. So that you can select the profile. Select the gasket profile and the axis B Y. Perfect. And make sure that it is new body. Repeat the same for the lower cover. Select revolve and the axis B Y. The operation B new body. Perfect. Now that we got the gasket covers and gasket and cap. Perfect. If you can see under bodies, we have four. The one is the lower cover and this is our gasket and this is the upper cover and this is the body for cap. Perfect guys. And now I would like to create the pressure wall which holds the packing plate. You will get to know in a moment. I am going to create a sketch on front plane. Enable the analysis so that we can clearly draw the sketch. I am going to collapse everything, sketches and bodies. Now, L on the keyboard, draw a line from here of 4mm horizontally. Perfect. Now from here, draw a line of length 14mm. Perfect. Select line again and carefully observe guys. Hold the left mouse button and drag it. Don't leave the left mouse button. You will get a curve like this. I am gonna roughly position my curve about 2mm. Just like this and leave the left mouse button. Close the profile by tracing this point in here. Make sure that you grab that point and now close the profile. Perfect. Now that we got the profile for pressure wall, select the profile and switch to solid tab. Select revolve. It automatically closes the sketch and switches to revolve command. And the axis BY. Make sure that it is new body. Disable the analysis to clearly see what we got. Perfect guys. And now click OK. I would like to shell this body. Select shell. Select this phase and this phase in here. Let the shell thickness be 1 mm. And then click OK. Select this edge and press F on the keyboard. Let the fillet radius be 1.75 and click OK. We would like to join these three components by rivet. I'm gonna create a rivet by creating sketch in here. See on the keyboard, day of the circle be 8mm. Select this profile and this profile. Press E on the keyboard. Let the extrude distance be 1.5mm. Make sure that it is new body. Perfect guys. You did great. And now I would like to enable the analysis so that you can clearly see what we got in here. This is the rivet that we are going to create. This is the cap and the upper core gasket and the lower core. And now I would like to create a sketch in here. Instead of drawing circle, I would like to project this entity. Select this profile and press E on the keyboard. Don't worry, you will get the other end also. Next to length B, 
up to this space make sure that it is join but if you click okay it may join to these bodies that are visible now to avoid that i would like to hide all except our rivet before enabling all other bodies i would like to put a sketch on this face and with the circle diaby 10 mm and select this profile and see this one press e on the keyboard and the extrude distance be 1.5 mm make sure that the operation is join and click okay and now enable all the bodies i done analysis to see what we got now that these are closely packed with the rivet it's time to model the spring which is pressure spring as on the keyboard search for coil this is a shortcut menu you can search for anything that you want if you don't know the location of the command i'm going to select this one and for creating coil first you need to select the face and then center point just drag the diameter of the spring roughly now that we got our spring let the diameter be 22 and the section size be 1.8 mm and the height be 16 and the operation be new body let me increase the number of coils to 5 it looks great and then click okay now that we got the spring we have few more steps ahead guys we need to create the backing plate create a sketch on front plane and enable the analysis carefully observe now guys i would like to intersect this face under create project include and select intersect i have set shortcut for this as shift p you can set that by using these three dots in here i hope you know that select intersect and now select this face now that we got that profile there i would like to create the reference geometry for the backing plate select line and now draw a vertical line about 8 mm and a horizontal line about 18 mm perfect we have to close the profile within these range select line and now start from here don't let go the left mouse button make sure that you got the curve not the line guys this is the line and if you just move you'll get the curve and now bring it down just like this create one more arc just like this and click on this tick mark to take that we got our profile perfectly and now select the profile including the intersected one let the offset distance be 0.2 mm it's time to close the ends a line in here and one more line in here now that we got profile perfectly just select this one and switch to solid tab repeat revolve let the axis be y make sure that it is new body to see the preview clearly hide the analysis yeah this is what i want click okay perfect guys we got the upper backing plate we need to create the 
Loy 1. Create a sketch on front plane. Now press L or select the line from here. Referencing this point, I would like to create a line. Just like this. Click on the green check mark to exit from there. And now I would like to select spline. Let the one point of the spline be this one and one point be here. Make sure that it, the line you have drawn just intersecting the lower geometry in here. I'm going to click OK. I would like to adjust the profile of the spline by handles. Just hold and drag. If you don't get those handles, just click on this point and hold the point and manipulate the handle until you get curve like this. And now offset the profile that you got. That is about negative 1 mm. Perfect. Close the ends so that you will get profile for revolute. On the other end, I don't want to close the profile here. I would like to close, close it having offset because we will be having a rivet through this hole. Thus, I need to create the profile having offset. The distance between these two points be 1.5 mm. Okay, observe here we got extended this one but we want this to be extended like this. For that I want a horizontal constraint this point with my origin. We just moved this line just a bit. Select the profile and switch to solid tab. Select revolve and the axis be Y. Click OK to take that revolve. Perfect guys. Create a sketch on front plane again. And now I would like to enable the analysis again. We are going to create the support that holds the lower gasket. You heard me right. Let me create the lower gasket first. I would like to create a rectangle. It would be great if we ha if I had created it from here. For that, I'm going to click on Escape, select a rectangle again, select this point, and now create rectangle. Let the width of the rectangle be 0.5 mm, and the length be 15 mm. Perfect. Now that you got the gasket profile. Select line. I would like to create a line like this. Roughly. And from here, I would like to hold my leftmost button until I get cow. Let go of this cow here. Repeat the cow again. Make sure that you got the same cow just like me. Make it rough guys. Don't worry about it. And now, come all the way to here to close it. Perfect. Just offset this profile that we have created. Let the offset distance be 0.4 mm. Click OK. And then close the ends. Perfect. Select this profile or I would like to create the revolve for the gasket first. Switch to solid. Select revolve and the axis be Y. Make sure that you are creating new body. Click OK. Repeat Revolve. Enable this last sketch. Select the profile and the axis be Y. Make sure that it is new body. Disable the analysis to have a clear preview of that what you have created. Perfect. Now we have the lawyer cover and the gasket and the 
backing plate you did great and we need to create the uh, lower rivet create a sketch in here see on the keyboard it's there before and select this profile and this one you on the keyboard let the distance be 1 mm make sure that it is new body and click ok and now enable the analysis to select the inner one if you observe here it is picking all the face which is not needed I would like to enable the last sketch so that I can only pick the inner profile press E on the keyboard I should read all the way to here and I want it to be joined if you press join now you will get error that is uh, you will be getting joined to the components that are present in here but we won't want like that we just wanted this to be joined with the extrude that we have created previously for that I would like to hide all the bodies except this one these bodies won't participate in this extrude thus I don't, I don't want to hide them click ok and now create a sketch again see on the keyboard let the circle dab be 6mm save the profile press E on the keyboard let the extrude distance be 1mm make sure that it is joined perfect enable all the bodies and now hide the analysis perfect now that you got the rivet let's design the spring we just made some mistake in here that uh, we need this cylindrical portion to be extruded away from here I would like to modify that extrude let the extrude distance be 6 mm perfect guys now create the spring press yes search for coil select the face and select the center drag it roughly and the dab be 4.5 and the height be 2.5 the section size be 0.3 make sure that it is new body and the number of revolutions be Five. perfect click ok to take that disable the analysis just hide backing plate so that you can see the spring there perfect we just need to do some fillets in here and that way it would look very nice and these are necessary also and one more fillet in at this edge and I would like to select the entire face for this one with the fillet radius be 0.5 mm that looks great and one more fillet for this edge with the fillet radius be 1 mm and one more here yeah perfect it looks great and that's all for today guys i hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial thank you so much for requesting mr shetty thank you so much for watching this video hit that like button if it helps you and subscribe to world of vision 360 for getting notifications each time when we upload new video like this thank you so much guys have a good day bye bye